Hey, what is up everybody? Hope you guys are having a great week. Uh, so today we're actually going to be talking about, that's right, the Tesla Cybertruck. Now, Elon Musk actually unveiled this uh, last night on November 21st. Uh, and as you can tell just by looking at your screen there, um, it's a weird ass looking truck. Uh, I got to tell you, last night when I was actually watching the reveal, uh, Elon Musk waited uh, no time whatsoever. Uh, he just got right to it. This truck came out, and <laughs> I think the first thing was I, I literally laughed out loud and said, what the hell is that? Um, once he actually parked this thing on, on stage, um, you know, it is kind of a, uh, uh, it's a radical looking design. Um, some might say it's actually pretty, pretty ugly. Uh, but you know what? As the actual presentation went on, uh, I have to admit, the, the truck actually kind of grew on me a little bit. I do like the uh, kind of the aggressive look uh, in the front. I'm not a big fan of this rear section back here, uh, but who knows? This is uh, obviously a vehicle that could potentially change in design. But this light bar up here plus the one up here, uh, at night it looks pretty freaking cool. Now, one of the things I also want to do is um, the Verge, they actually have a, a great video. Uh, like the Verge they always do. As you can see, this vehicle actually starts out at 39000 bucks. And when Elon Musk actually talked about the pricing, there was a, the camera was actually close enough that you could actually hear some of the people in the audience say, what? How the hell is that possible? Um, we'll actually get, that, get to that in a few minutes, but let's take a look at the video here from the Verge. The Cybertruck starts at $39,900. That starting price is also lower than the price of a lot of the most popular pickup trucks on the market right now, like the Ford F-150 or the Dodge Ram. That version of the truck will get about 250 miles of range and be able to go from 0 to 60 miles an hour. All right, so I'm going to pause that here for just a second. If you take a look up here, uh, if you didn't catch the live stream, uh, Elon Musk actually demonstrated uh, what they were calling the Tesla Armor Glass. Um, and what they were doing is they had somebody up there, they had a, a, a steel ball, they were taken up to this uh, pretty decent size uh, height, and they were actually dropping that ball on a sample piece of glass. Uh, then what happened was Elon actually had their designer Franz come out, and he threw the ball at this glass. Uh, as you can see from the pictures there, the steel, um, unfortunately, it actually broke, which it was not supposed to do. Uh, I actually suspect that there was some type of miscommunication. Uh, I think Elon Musk, maybe, uh, maybe he was told or maybe he thought that this glass here was actually the Tesla armor glass. Um, so a little bit of a snafu during the, uh, the live demo, but hey, that's what happens when you do live demos, right? Uh, let's move a little bit forward into the video and we'll show what this uh, actually looks like in motion. About 300 or more miles of range has a 10,000 pound towing capacity and can go from zero to 60 miles an hour in about four and a half seconds. The top tier Cybertruck costs nearly $70,000, but Elon Musk promised it'll have at least 500 miles of range, which is outrageous. That's more than any. So as you can see, um, the front end of the Cybertruck, in my opinion, I think looks really, really cool. If I were to see that thing coming down uh, the highway in the middle of the night, uh, my first question would be like, what the hell is that? Uh, is that a spaceship? Are the aliens finally coming to get us? But once you get to that rear end section uh, of the truck, I think they could do a lot more with that. Um, I think that the back end part of that uh, just needs re uh, a little bit of rework. And I know for some of you watching this, you're saying, man, the whole damn truck is ugly as hell. They just need to redesign it uh, or completely just kill it and, uh, and design a real truck, right? Uh, but let's move forward here. We are going to skip to this little section here in the video. So what uh, what Franz does, he's actually the designer uh, at Tesla. And what Elon Musk has him do is uh, he comes out with the sledgehammer. Uh, he demonstrates uh, what happens if you take a sledgehammer to a normal truck uh, side door. Um, uh, spoiler alert, it's going to dent the living shit out of the side door. Uh, but then he actually has Franz take that same sledgehammer and uh, slam it into the side of the Tesla truck. And again, spoiler alert, uh, it doesn't do a ton. We'll go to that real quick. Yeah, but a problem seemed to arise when they also tried to show off the strength of the windows on the truck. Oh, which are this is uh, where Franz actually breaks the window. But when they took a big metal ball bearing to the windows, they broke. 
So obviously there's a little bit more to be done to make sure that this... All right, we'll go back to the actual sledgehammer. I went far, too far forward there. The side of the side Boom. Of the and so the thing is, is that this, this truck uh, is actually made from uh, actual steel, cold road steel. I think that's what they call it. Um, it's not painted uh, whatsoever. Um, so obviously, as you could tell, um, I'm I'm assuming Tesla's actually going to offer paint jobs on this thing. Um, but Franz wasn't able to actually dent this side door. Um, so it, it was actually a really cool event. Um, I'll, we'll actually forward here a little bit into the video so you could actually see what the lights look like on it. If and when this thing gets into a crash. Now, I actually got a chance to ride this thing tonight. I was in the front passenger seat, one of six seats inside the truck, and one of the first things that struck me was just how big it is inside. Musk talked on stage about how by taking basically the structure of the car and moving it to the very outside, not worrying about paint or anything. So as you can see, uh, the interior, um, just like the rest of their uh, the rest of their fleet, it's pretty minimalist. Uh, they are still using that 17-inch uh, touchscreen that they're using in the model um, the Model Three. Uh, and, the, uh, and again, the interior is very minimal as well. Um, towards the end of the actual video, um, there was an actual uh, one more thing that Elon Musk actually introduced, and that was that they actually designed their own ATV. And also at the same time, um, this the truck actually has its own air suspension system, so it does have the ability for the truck to lower. And uh, one of their... Um, one of their crew members actually took that ATV and actually drove it onto the back of the truck. So it was a very cool uh, demonstration. And then I also got queued up here uh, a video of somebody's first drive in, in the actual Cybertruck, uh, which is really cool. Um, this is not the cheapest version. Uh, so the cheapest version is just a single motor, but this one is actually a dual motor. We'll actually queue this up here. So many people were actually saying that the UI uh, on this is uh, is different than what's currently on uh, currently deployed in the fleet. So this could potentially be the future UI layout. So as you can see, um, the steering wheel that they have in here is the same steering wheel that they had in the Tesla Roadster, uh, which is their new supercar that's coming out. Uh, I'm not a big fan of these steering wheels because they're uh, they're actually kind of a pain in the ass to drive with, uh, but it's a good chance that they're actually just going to swap this over for a typical steering wheel that you'll see in, uh, in the rest of their fleet. This mirror here is actually um, uh, is actually not just a typical mirror. Uh, it's actually a, uh, a display, and then there's a camera in the back that will actually show you the uh, uh, the a live video feed. I do actually like these lights that they have in the back of the truck. I think I think that's actually a really nice design. Um, if you've ever had a truck or you've ever had to go into the back of the truck to pick something out in the middle of the night, uh, sometimes it could be a uh, pain in the ass. So it, it is really nice that they do have. Uh, those lights back there uh, so let's actually go to Tesla's website uh, you can actually order one of these right now and I don't mean you can actually buy it right now I do mean reserve um, you can actually reserve one for a hundred bucks uh, I know a lot of you are probably thinking I you couldn't pay me to actually drive this car around uh, but the website it just kind of tells you that the the exterior of the vehicle uh, is it is made out of steel um, and then here is what the kind of the body structure looks like. Uh, the Tesla armor glass, which as you can see, unfortunately didn't uh, didn't work out too well during the live demo. So hopefully they can get that fixed up and show us another demo. Uh, this vehicle is not scheduled to come out for quite a long time. Uh, you can reserve one today, but they are anticipating uh, late 2021 production. So I would assume um, that that could potentially slip. Uh, and of course you, I mean, we would never really know. There's, there is always a possibility that Tesla could see that they have a ton of competition and might move up that production date. But let's take a look at some of the specs. Uh, 
As you can see, the cheapest one, it's going to start out at $39,900 for a single motor rear wheel drive. You got a dual motor and then they also have a tri motor all wheel drive. <clears throat> for the single motor, you're going to do 6.5 seconds, 0 to 60. That's pretty good for a truck. You're going to at least get uh, 250 plus miles of range. Uh, and then it also has a towing capacity of 7,500 pounds. Uh, it will come with autopilot as standard. And then it's also going to have a standard uh, adaptive air suspension, which is, uh, which is pretty nice. Uh, let's take a look at the dual motor. Uh, this one is going to get you 4.5 seconds, 0 to 60, a range of 300 plus miles, which is pretty good. And you're also going to get 10,000 pounds of towing capacity. Uh, Autopilot is going to be standard as well as the air suspension. The tri motor, uh, 2.9 seconds, 0 to 60. That is pretty freaking quick. You're also going to get 500 plus miles of range, which uh, if you know anybody has a truck, that's pretty much spot on. That's equal to what you can get out of a, uh, uh, a typical truck. And then you're going to get 14,000 pounds of towing capacity. Autopilot and air suspension are going to be standard. So specs wise, that's pretty good uh, uh, in terms of what you can tow with this vehicle. Uh, if, you, if we take a look at some of the uh, other vehicles that are out on the road right now, um, I was actually really curious myself as to why Tesla would actually launch that vehicle for $39,000. Uh, I thought for sure it would start somewhere around fifty dollars to sixty. dollars But if you take a look at some of their uh, Ford's pricing out there, uh, some of their cheaper trucks, the smaller trucks, you're going to get uh, the bare minimum of, of like 7,500 uh, uh, foot-pounds of, or excuse me, 7,500 pounds uh, of towing capacity. And some of these trucks, they are not expensive. Um, you know, even the uh, even this 290 horsepower engine that you're going to get from Ford uh, in a vehicle that I think they start around like in the 20s, uh, 20,000 range, uh, it's still going to get you about 7,700 uh, pounds of towing capacity. So this vehicle, the Tesla vehicle, uh, it really had to start uh, at that price point. And then on top of that, you also have other competitors like Rivian who uh, is a company here in uh, Illinois who is looking to build their own truck as well. And that's a very impressive looking vehicle. It's very nice. Uh, it is going to start a little bit more expensive than the Tesla. Um, anywhere from like sixty to 80000 uh, More than likely, uh, they're going to start production on their more expensive variants first. Um, but as you can see, uh, you know, the, Tesla's, uh, the Tesla truck in terms of towing capacity, it's right where it needs to be. You know, some of these bigger engine fours, uh, you know, this V6, it's, it can, can tow over 13,000 uh, pounds. So it definitely needed to be up there. The Ram trucks, uh, same thing. Um, I mean, here's, if you take a look at this, max towing, 7,700 pounds. You know, it starts out at 36,000. Um, let's take a look at some of the other vehicles that can produce just as much. Let's see here. We got some that are 11,000. Uh, let's see, we got any dualies anywhere around here? Yeah. So all of these vehicles, I mean, they can put out, you know, they can definitely tow some serious weight. Um, the Dodge Rams, uh, you know, as you can see, the Ram 1500, uh, it does get pretty expensive at 57,000 and it still has, uh, it's still only able to tow um, 7,300 pounds. But then you get into these uh, other ones, which is these Hemis here, and it can tow 11,000 pounds. So uh, the Teslas, um, you know, in terms of the looks, it is definitely different. There is no doubt about it. I mean, take a look at this and take a look at that, right? Uh, take a look at this. Uh, I know some of you hardcore truck guys out there, you're probably looking at this and say, you know what, I'm going to take a, a Ford or a Dodge or... Uh, all day long. I might even put my money down on a Rivian and I'm going to 100% completely skip uh, reserving a Tesla. So this is definitely one of those things that uh, if you're if you're willing to be different, uh, the Tesla is definitely going to be for you. Personally, uh, the first time I saw this again, I thought it was weird as hell, but it has grown on me a little bit. Uh, there is a potential that I might actually reserve one myself, but we will see. Um, if they make any changes to uh, the vehicle over time, it is, again, it is going to be a while before this thing comes out. So 
uh, I could completely lose interest by then. Uh, but also at the same time, I am rooting for uh, Rivian Trucks. Uh, I think they're going to be a great, uh, another great car company. It is really cool that they're actually going to be building those cars here in Illinois. Uh, and I wish them all the best of luck. Uh, anyway, guys, I hope you guys en enjoyed um, me kind of talking about the Tesla Cybertruck. If you do like my videos, uh, please do subscribe. And if you can, also give me a like. I appreciate it. I hope you guys have a good day. See you.